So this has been a long time coming, uh, but now that the car has been down the track, uh, I feel more comfortable putting out a video like this. Um, but if you're going to put the Terminator X into an SN95, um, get the Fox body kit, and most of it's pretty straightforward. Uh, what seems to be hanging some people up is the stock gauges, where to wire the fuel pump out, um, and the cooling fans. So I'm going to go over with how I retain the stock gauges, the oil pressure sensor, coolant temp sensor, tachometer. Um, again, where I wired the fuel pump out to uh, and and how I wired the coolant fans. I, I definitely borrowed some, some of the wires from the CCRM. So overall, it's not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it, it can be rather intimidating due to the way the harnesses share conduit and the right front fender. Engine harness, ABS harness, maybe even, maybe even some lights, um, charcoal canister, all that nonsense is in the uh, in the right front fender. So, like I said, it can be kind of intimidating, I'm sure, but it's definitely doable. So let's dive on in. I did just want to add, um, I would check, you know, verify the stuff, trace it, use a no meter, make sure the pins I'm giving you are correct. Um, and I'm just giving you the ones that that were on my car. Uh, again, I, I assume Ford's the same. You know, <laughs> a 94 should be the same as a 94. Um, hopefully even a 95. But, yeah, just verify it. Um, I hate somebody just blindly follow and start cutting wires out. And Ford, for some reason, on certain VIN brakes uh, in a car, that these pins don't match your car's pins. Um, I've seen that before. You know, you get an early model year car and a late model year car, and they will just change stuff to change stuff. I, I don't know if Ford does that, but um, again, these pens are what worked on my car. Um, you know, use your own meter. Worst case, use your eyeballs and trace the wires like I did. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because I'd hate somebody to start cutting and their car's a little bit different, be it 90, late 94, early 94, or 95. Um, hopefully they're all the same. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to add that. Oh boy, am I glad I rushed last weekend to get the car done so I could go to the track. So this is the engine harness. This is the engine side. You can see all the injectors and all that good stuff. And this is the car side. The three wires you're going to need to save out of this connector are the white wire with a red tracer, your oil pressure sensor, that's on pin 31. The red wire with a white tracer, that's your coolant temperature sensor, that's on pin 6. And the tan wire with a yellow tracer, that's your tack, that's on pin 34. So for the oil pressure and coolant temperature sensor, what I did is I cut the wire on this side and saved it. You know, ran it with the terminator harness back to each sensor, loomed it with the terminator harness and all that. And then on the car side, cut the other side and then use the connector and connect them. Uh, you do that for your oil pressure light and your coolant temperature sensor uh, light. I'm not, not light, but oil pressure wire, coolant temperature wire. Uh, for the tack, you don't need to save this side. You just need to cut this side and hook it to your MSD box. So that's that's it. That's your, that's your gauge is done. Uh, you don't need to go into the car. You don't need to find out where they go in the, through the firewall. If you take them there, the rest of the, the rest of the wiring is undisturbed. And um, that's the way I got mine working. It's, there's really not much to it. Uh, again, the wires you need in, in this connector are on pin 31, pin 6, and pin 34. Um, yeah, it's not, like I said, there's not a lot to it. So here's how I connected them under the hood. That tan with a yellow tracer is the tack wire. And those two are your oil pressure and coolant temperature sensor wires. So again, I let, you know, basically this is taking the place of the, you know, that bulky connector we were looking at before. Um, this side just follows the terminator harness and goes to the respective sensors under the hood and the tack wire goes to the MSD 
uh, MSD box. And then from you know this side in is just the factory wiring to wherever uh, you know to the instrument cluster through whatever connectors are there. So you know this way you don't have to disturb any of the wiring in the car or figure out any of the wiring in the car or anything like that. You just connect them here, save the two sensor wires for your oil pressure and coolant temp sensor, and then wire the tack to the MSD. Next up is the CCRM, um, and I'm going to explain what I did or what I used from the harness to power my coolant fan relays. I replaced this basically with two 60 amp relays one for the low speed fan, one for the high speed fan. Uh, so I'm going to explain the four wires that I used out of this to help me get my fans working. There's two yellow wires, two black with orange tracer wires. Uh, the two yellow wires are on pins 9 and 10, and the two black with orange tracers are on 3 and 4. One yellow wire and one black with orange tracer goes to your low speed relay. The other yellow wire and the other black with the orange tracer goes to your high speed relay. So one of the yellow wires goes to terminal 86 on your relay. Then your terminator is going to ground terminal 85 on that relay. Then your black with the orange tracer goes to terminal 30 on that relay. And then you wire your own wire from terminal 87 to the fan. So again, one of these yellow wires goes to the high speed relay. One of the, the other yellow wire goes to the low speed relay. One black wire goes to the high speed relay. The other black wire goes to the low speed relay. You're essentially doing the same thing twice. Uh, one of the yellow wires goes to terminal 86. One of the black wires with the orange tracer goes to terminal 30. The Terminator X supplies ground to Terminal 85 on the relay, and you run your own wire from Terminal 87 to your fan. It's kind of confusing, um, because you're doing the same thing twice, basically. Um, these are your control wires, these are your power wires, these are fused from the 60 amp fuse under the hood. And Terminator does the grounding, does the control power, and you run your own power wire to the fan. Um, I hope I got it kind of clear, um, but yeah, it's, it, there's not a lot to it. Well, I was going to ohm out some wires and <laughs> verify some locations. I can't seem to find the original video where I, where I picked up those wires from. I, I want to say it's on, you know, near the airbox in the right front fender. But my leads on my meter have finally given up the ghost. So, I guess I gotta go back and try to find, try to find the video. I, I want to say, I, I thought the two, you know, the black with the orange tracer from the underhood fuse that I'm using to power the fans is in this connector and the two yellow wires that I picked up from or they used from the CCRM were in this one but I cannot remember and I cannot find the original footage where I talked about that um, but what you can do is you know with the CCRM harness not cut um, you can trace those wires or use an ohmmeter to figure out where to pick them up so I did go back and find the old original footage. Um, it's pin 3 and 15 in here should be pins 9 and 10 from the CCRM. Uh, and the orange and black wire from the underhood fuse is on this side of this connector. And I picked them up, you know, behind the fender in here for the cooling fans. Um, again, you know, I would check this stuff. I mean, I'm not sure how diligent Ford was on putting all the stuff in the same spot, so um, 
your mileage may vary, but my CCRM, the two wires I picked up for the fan are in pins 3 and 15 uh, for here. And then I don't know the pin number in this, but it's the orange and or, or black with an orange tracer wire. All right, so we're back in the right front uh, kick panel area under the glove box. Um, I added a connector to it, but this green wire is fuel pump out from the Terminator X. So I picked up this green wire with a yellow tracer, and that powers the fuel pump. So this green wire with the yellow tracer goes up to this fourth connector up here, into this terminal here. So that wire just comes out and around and up into here, and then down through this connector into this harness into your fuel pump. So that's where I put fuel pump out from the Terminator. Again, it's this pin right here and this fourth connector that's up a little bit higher than these three. And again, that's your fuel pump out. I guess another point of difference between the Fox and the SN95 is the throttle position sensor wiring. Colors are different. Uh, on the Holly side of the harness, it says A, B, C. Uh, a is a black with a white tracer, B is a green, and C is a orange wire. Um, on my throttle position sensor, at least in here, if you look in when the connector's unplugged, it says A, B, C. I just wired A to A, B to B, and C to C. And it's uh, it's worked fine. This is the transmission harness. Uh, about half of the wires on this side went directly to the engine computer. Uh, so I terminated those, put heat shrink on each wire, and, and closed them off. The other half went into the car's harness. I left those alone. This side of it I left alone. You know, it just goes to the transmission. Uh, this side, they're about, like I said, half the wires went directly to the engine computer, so I just terminated them. Um, that was another kind of goofy harness to deal with on the SN95. Uh, another little difference on the SN95 is the location of the coolant temp sensor. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe the Fox body is just straight up and down right here. This one is a little further forward, so it's a little bit tight. Um, it's a little tight down there to make that corner, um, but it fits. Uh, and another one is I did move. It's kind of difficult to see, but I moved the intake air temp to where a Fox body would, would be. Um, yeah, it was out here. And there's benefits and drawbacks to having your intake air temp in the manifold or in the, you know, out here before the throttle body. Uh, but I chose to move it to where it was quote unquote designed to be on the Fox body. So I hope this helped. Those are the major things I found that were differences putting a Fox body kit in an SN95. Um, so again, the, what I saved out of this connector is the white with a red tracer oil pressure wire. That's on pin 31. The red with a white tracer coolant temp sensor wire on pin 6. And the tan with a yellow tracer is your tack wire on pin 34. Again, that's just where they are in this harness. That's mine. I'm not, I assume Ford puts them all in the same place on every car. Um, and what I use from the CCRM are pens 9 and 10, two yellow wires, and pens 3 and 4, um, two black with orange tracer wires. Um, I pick those up, kind of those two connectors under where the stock airbox would be. Um, the two yellow wires from CCRM, nine, pens 9 and 10, I pick them up on pens 3 and 15 on that square connector, and then the black with orange tracer wires from pens 3 and 4, from the 60 amp, they come from the 60 amp fuse under the hood. I picked those up out of that round connector. Um, so again, if that's a little bit earlier, 
in the video of that, where I show where those are. Um, but that's what I used for the coolant fans. So that's overall what I saved and, and reused. So again, I hope this helps.